It is almost that time. The Super Bowl kickoff now just minutes away and without a home team to root for Metro Detroit fans may be split on who they're cheering on. I'm not but the 49ers or the Chiefs but for two local families tonight's game. It is personal. Yeah, absolutely. And seven action news reporter Jen Shantz shows us a, a watch party yeah. that's happening in Dearborn and she hung out for some time with the family of San Francisco's defensive coordinator. Robert Sala and Jen, obviously a very proud moment for this family. Yeah, Amira, Brian, you can hear the pride behind me here. We're at Sala's aunt's house. This is a proud moment, not only for his family, but for the entire Dearborn community to see a Fordson High graduate on the sidelines of the biggest game. Let's go, baby. 49ers, baby. You look around Shady Asala's house on Super Bowl Sunday and it looks like your average watch party. There's food, balloons, the TV's on, and there's plenty of jerseys sporting their prized team. But the Salas aren't just cheering on the San Francisco 49ers, they're cheering for their family. Robert Sala, Shady's nephew, a Fordson grad, is the team's defensive coordinator. Very yeah. dedicated in what he's doing. His passion is this. This is what he wanted to do. Dearborn native Robert Sala has been with the 49ers since 2017. This is his second Super Bowl. Football has been his passion since he was a little boy playing with his cousins. It's a very proud moment. And not just for the Sala family, but for Dearborn, for Fordson, and for Metro Detroit. But the entire family, entire community is, uh, is so excited. It's just an opportunity um, for, for Robert. And you know, also opens doors. To other um, Arab Americans. And Salah's not the only local connection to the Super Bowl. There's also a Metro Detroiter in the Chiefs camp. Rochester's Eric Fisher is an offensive lineman. The Chiefs drafted him in the first round of the NFL draft in 2013. Now I asked the family, are they superstitious? Are they doing anything special today in hopes of sending good luck Robert's way? They say tonight they're just praying for a win and no one is praying and cheering harder than Robert's grandmother. And she has a very special message for us tonight. I'm a proud of you, I'm a proud of my son, Robert, you know. And go! Go! Live tonight in Dearborn, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.